test, test, testing one, two. So I just wanted to first start by saying thank you so much for all of the people that support the Network Marketing Made Simple podcast. And I talk to so many people that want to start their own podcast and they hire this company and that company. And what I love about Anchor, which is the platform that hosts my podcast, it's free. You can create your own background music. You can edit your podcast right from your phone. And the other benefit is that Anchor distributes your podcast to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pocket Cast, all the other ones. And if you want to monetize it, if you want to make money from your podcast, there's no minimum listenership. You will get ads and sponsors if you choose to. And it's everything you need to make a very successful podcast that benefits people. So if you haven't downloaded the Anchor app, download it and go to anchor.fm to get started. And it will change your business and your life because it will allow you to reach that many more people. This is Scott Aaron and welcome to the Success Made Simple podcast. This is a podcast dedicated to teaching entrepreneurs, network marketers, online business owners that success is not made simple, but it takes simple decisions that create the success that we truly deserve. So what I'm going to do each week is bring you guys short quick and effective tips on how to really take yourself and your businesses to the next level. Welcome to episode seven of the Success Made Simple podcast. So today, it is during the holiday season, This is the most common time of year for network marketers, online business owners, online coaches to be most frustrated because this is also the most common time that you're going to hear objections from those that you're talking to about your opportunity or about your business. And it's every year. It is like clockwork, literally, as soon as Halloween is over and everyone is getting ready for Thanksgiving, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and everything else, everyone puts themselves and their businesses on hold, or it's just poor planning, whatever it is. So what I wanted to go over with you guys today are the five typical objections that you're going to get over the holiday Uh, time period, but also how you can overcome those objections, how you can not take it personally, and how you can understand that it has nothing to do with you and it has everything to do with them. So the number one objection you're going to hear is, quote, I'm too busy right now. So busy is a state of mind that a lot of people spend their time in, and especially during the holidays. They're busier than ever wrapping presents, going shopping, getting things in order. This is the time period where people are most disorganized and most overwhelmed. So when you when someone says to you, you know, I'm too busy, they can't even they can't even take a moment to get on the phone with you. They're just they have too much going on, they're they're too busy. You can simply come back with a question. Sorry to hear things are so busy. When would be another time for us to connect? Questions lead to answers. You guys have heard me say this before. So when someone messages you back or tells you they're too busy, you simply ask, when would be a better time? So that's number one. Number two, quote, my money is tied up right now in other things. Meaning, Their money is being distributed to gifts and presents and everything else they're doing. And I'm not saying it shouldn't go to that. But if any dollar is going to be spent, it's not going to be on themselves. It's not going to be in a coaching program. It's not going to be in an opportunity. It's going to be for everything but that. So 
Not only is the holiday time period the time period where people most gain weight, but it's also the greatest time period where people go into debt because they're actually doing things that are going against their business, not working for them. So when someone says my money is all tied up, you can simply respond back with, when do you feel would be a better time to reconnect when your money is not tied up? So you reuse their words and you come back with a question. Number three, quote, let's wait till after the new year, right? Just let's wait till after the new year. Now, this is common. People want to put things off until the new year starts because it's a fresh start for everyone. It's a fresh start. So what do they want to do? They want to wait until after the new year. So if you were to connect with someone and they would give you that objection or that excuse that they want to wait till after the new year, you would say, great. When after the new year is best for us to reconnect? Now, that might lead into a second objection and they may put it back on you. Why don't you circle back with me after the new year? Quote, why don't you circle back with me after the new year? Now, here's the thing. Whether you're in network marketing, whether you're in direct sales, online marketing, an online coach, you are not chasing people. So if I was to say when after the new year is good and they respond back with, why don't you circle back around with me? That's not how it works. I would respond back, I completely understand your busy schedule. If you would like to talk, please feel free to contact me after the new year as my door of opportunity is always open. So you always take the power back. You never leave it to that person to dictate the flow of the conversation. Now, you've heard me talk before about questions lead to answers, but in certain circumstances, sometimes you need to make a statement to shut down the conversation, and that is absolutely when you want to do that. So the last objection, so that was three and four. The last objection you're going to hear is, quote, let me get through the next couple weeks. What you're going to learn a lot about these objections is that they're all the same. They're all overwhelm. They're all disorganization. They're all not about themselves and about everything else. So when someone says to you, let's, let, me, let me get through the next couple weeks and then let, let's reconnect. You always reuse that person's words and you get back to them. That sounds great. When in the next couple weeks would be best for you? Well, I'm not sure. If you were sure, when would be an opportune time for a 15 minute call? So you can see what you need to practice. And this is something that I still do is you want to practice the fact that questions will always lead to answers. As soon as you finish with a statement, conversation's over because then you're not actually getting them back to respond. So again, if someone says to me, you know, let's, let, let me get through the next couple weeks. Great. When in the next couple weeks would be good for you? I'm not sure. If you were sure, when would be good? Maybe after the new year. Great. When after the new year? Maybe the second week. Great. What date during the second week works for you? How about that Tuesday? Awesome. What time that Tuesday? In the afternoon. What time in the afternoon? Around two o'clock. Is two o'clock good or maybe 2.30? Two o'clock's good. Great. I will call you then. And there you book a call. So you always have to go back to ask questions, to get answers, to get solidified appointments. You have to get people to confirm. You have to be very clear and intentional with what you're looking to do. So again, the five top objections that you're going to get to be on the lookout for. And remember, don't take it personally. It has nothing to do with you. This is just the time of year. Number one, I'm too busy. Number two, my money is tied up. Number three, let's wait till after the new year and circle back around with me in a few weeks. And number five, let me get through the next couple weeks and we can talk. So guys, remember, 
This is the, the time of year when you need to push even harder because people are going to be less likely to want to get on the phone with you. But you need to keep forging on. You, keep, you need to keep moving forward to get the results that you want. So everyone, enjoy the rest of your day and I will talk to you next time. Have a great day, everyone.